was speaking to a client this week and uh, he mentioned that with his meat, when he gets it, he cuts the fat off the meat because it's bad for you. And I gently educated him about the fact that in the 1960s and 70s, uh, a man named Ansel Keys actually uh, really, really demonized fat. Uh, what he did was he utilized epidemiology studies. And that means that they, they, there was a lot of heart disease occurring. And, and in his studies, he looked and he was like, okay, they're eating fat and they're getting heart disease. We're going to eliminate the fat. That, that's, that's the driver. But an epidemiology study means that it's, it's only looking at causation or, or correlation equals causation. But what he left out was whether they were eating sugar, whether they were exercising, whether they were smoking, whether they were eating a high carbohydrate diet. <laughs> None of this was addressed. And then fat was bastardized. In Australia, we've got the standard Australian dietary guidelines uh, as well as across the world where you get lots of stars with the lower the amount of fat. The challenge here is, is that our hormones such as testosterone uh, in, in men and women, uh, estrogen, progesterone, uh, cortisol, etc. All of these hormones, the backbone of hormones is fat. So if we're not eating enough fat, we don't uh, have the appropriate building blocks for our hormones. Hormones are the chemical signalers throughout our body. So it's good to have fat.